Wednesday and today is now my day off so my days off have changed again um, instead of being Saturday Sunday they're now Thursday and Friday um, that means that I have all day free today it is now the afternoon so uh, this morning I've just been lesson planning and made some potato scones for my breakfast which ended up being more like brunch because it's a process it took a good hour and a half to get to the end of that process um, but yeah, so today I am going to drink and draw uh, in downtown and um, yeah, I thought I would just film my weekend because I've got some interesting things happening. So, enjoy! <laughs> already up because I need to take my makeup off before I go to bed. It's already just after 11 o'clock. Curfew is at 12 so we had to be out before half past 10 to make sure everyone got back um, to where they need to be in time. Um, that was really good. Um, it was a bit different than usual so um, it was nice. Um, it was a nice change from my usual routine and also a nice change from what it has been before. You can actually see one drink and draw, two, three, and then four in the corner over there. Um, and there's one more outside. So that was my sixth drink and draw. Um, and they're just one of my favorite things to do in, in Myanmar as an expat. I feel like as a tourist, it's not really something um, people would probably do, but as an expat, it's definitely my favorite thing um, to do. And yeah, it was a really good night. It was a really cool location. It was different from the usual location. Um, and it had Sule Pagoda in the background. And yeah, it was just really fun. I love it. I love drink control. <laughs> Friday this morning I had my Myanmar language Burmese lesson with my friend Sam. She teaches um, Burmese to anyone who wants to learn, um, which is great because I really need to learn now. Um, I've been here 
since February last year, minus the four months where I was in China and at home. So I figured it was probably time to learn some of the language, especially after my taxi journey on Monday where I almost ended up in the wrong place because, yeah, because I couldn't tell where I wanted to go basically. So I was like, I need to learn how to speak to people. Um, so yeah, I had that this morning and then I just did a little bit of studying. Um, so now I'm just about to get ready and we're gonna go to the same cafe um, that we were in last night for drink and draw. Me, my friend Becky and um, one of my old students who I really uh, wanted to catch up with, Nitra, and she also wanted to go and see um, Sule Pagoda Real Cafe, Real Cafe's view of Sule Pagoda is what I was trying to say. <laughs> so we're gonna go um, now, I think I'm meeting up four and it's about two now, so I'm gonna get ready um, and then head down to, yeah, we're meeting at four, yes, okay. Um, and then I'll head down to uh, Real Cafe, I think I'm gonna share a taxi with Becky, and then meet uh, Nitra there. Um, and yeah, we are gonna have a catch up, because um, I've not seen her since last year when I left Myanmar, so it'll be good to see her and also see um, a bit more of what Real Cafe is like as a cafe rather than an event space like it was yesterday. So let's go. we were catching up um, so she used to be one of my old students um, last year um, she was in one of my adult classes so I forgot to film anything I think I got a couple clips of the cafe and the pagoda um, but yeah no that was really nice so that was my little weekend adventures for this week I hope you enjoyed the video um, and yeah there is no upload schedule, so whenever the next one comes, enjoy it. If you um, want to check out some of my other videos, there will be end cards at the end of uh, the video, and please go and check them out. Um, you have my daily routine was the last video that I did, and also if you want to know more about what my life is like when it's not COVID-19 and I'm teaching in the language center, I made a video last year, so you can go and watch that. Um, so yeah, bye, until next time. <laughs>